time it is, though. What you think, bro? Think gonna take all day? Think gonna be no, quick. No, we got a car show by four o'clock. Let's do it. Yeah, y'all know what time it is. About to see what they do now. All right, so we're in my boy Mad Mac Motorsports. Y'all know what's going on. I'm about to try to get the dates to go on now, so we're gonna know right now if they're gonna work, or we're gonna have to do something with the rear end. Keep your fingers crossed for me because we're hoping that they go on with no issues. We know the front is good, but we're just concerned about the back. So, um, we had some small issues. The battery died on me. The interior shop, they uh, left my alternator unplugged. So we had small issues with that. But a boy came to the restroom, got it back, fired up. AutoZone, thanks to Mr. One at AutoZone, switched out my uh, Optima battery for me. No charge. Um, got me back in the game. We got a brand new Optima, and uh, even though the Optima batteries ain't shit compared to what they used to be. So let me just say that. Um, Optima batteries used to be the best batteries I've ever owned. Now it seems like they don't last a year. But, uh, so it ain't, that's neither here nor there. I just had to get that out. My boy got this Nova and it came to him like this, LS Swap. He's about to completely go through this. You see it got wires all over the place and he about to redo this whole thing. So um, y'all stay tuned to the Nova. I actually love Novas. Um, so it's nice to see one, you know what I mean? Pretty as this one. It's gonna have a nice swap when it leaves here. So I'm sure the owner gonna be happy, but uh, he haven't gotten started on it yet, but he will be starting on it soon. All right, so we run into an issue. As you can see, the D's sticking out too far. We thought by dropping the suspension, we could push them on and they would fit. Well, the shop that did my rear end have one side longer than the other. So uh, needless to say, it has to be redone. So that's what I be meaning when I be telling y'all, these shops, man, it's so hard to find a good reputable shop. And this person, this shop here, has so many cars going in and out of there. You know what I mean? It's supposed to be doing great work, but just the shit you run into. You spend your money and you gotta get the shit done over again. So that's what I be telling y'all. Be careful who you do business with, man. But either way, yeah, I just did. I showed them that side. Yeah. This is shit we deal with. Look how that wheel stick out. And this rear end has been short. But uh, we're gonna go with a new rear end. We're just gonna get it all together so we can be done with this shit. springs on the hinges and then we'll do the digi dash something came loose and uh, i think we're good for now the datings don't fit we're gonna have to do a rear end we just confirmed that so uh, i'll keep y'all posted along as we go on that journey i'll tap back in with you soon all right so what are we doing bro so because of the way these add in the uh stereo block mm -hmm. what we do is we add solder to it to make it a solid so that way when you when you heat it up in there or when you tighten the bolt it has more of a grip on it rather than just moving all the, the little tiny wires out of the way yeah. making it one big steady yeah. solid solid state yeah. instead of bending all them single wires back right. for the stereo gotcha Thank you. 